Hello viewers, welcome to this video lecture series on C programming language. In this session, I shall give you an analogy for the programming language and natural language. See, most of us, whatever language we speak with people with, at home, with friends, all that type of languages are called as the natural languages. And now, how do we learn these natural languages? We have to know the basic, that is the alphabets of those natural language. And from that alphabets only, we are going to slowly learn the natural language. When you start learning in la natural language, you start learning with the letters of that language. Suppose if you are learning English, then you should be knowing the alphabets of English. That is A, B, C, D, like this. Then you should be knowing the digits there. What are the uppercase? What are the lowercase? So, all those things comes under the letters. Now, using letters, what is that you are doing you are forming words so we say words are created from the letters similarly in C language like you have the letters you have a character set in C language the most fundamental unit is what the character set now from this character set you are creating identifiers now time being you do not worry what an identifier is it is simply like if you have to tell in comparison with our natural language you can always say it is like a word so from this character set of C language you are creating identifiers fine so now you can see this comparison letters from letters you are forming words from the character set of C language you are forming the identifiers then in natural language what is that you do once you get familiarized with the words and a bit of grammar then you start forming the sentences so here what is that you will be doing in programming language you have to use identifiers and form what and expressions so using identifiers you are forming the expressions so Further, this expressions can be converted to statements. So, I can just write here like this in the flow. Using identifiers, you are forming, forming expressions and further expressions will be converted into statements. Fine. This is the way you are going to form statements of the C programming language. Then, when it comes to the natural language, you have learned till sentences then you start building what the paragraphs and what about in c programming language once you are familiar with the statements you start writing functions using the statements then in natural language using the paragraphs finally what is that you will do you will write an essay or chapter or complete description on a topic so the paragraphs get converted into a form of what a long descriptive type of text or you call it as an essay what about in c programming language whatever functions you have created using the statements using those functions finally you will build the program so this is what is the analogy here you can see for this c programming language or any programming language for that matter First, the character set of C you should be knowing. Then using that, you will be forming identifiers. And using ident identifiers will be converted into expressions. Finally, expressions you are going to form. Using expressions, you will be forming the statements. And using the statements, you will be forming the functions. And using the functions, you will be writing the program. Or So, before you start learning a program, you have to know so many things in this language. It is simply like in a natural language, you start learning from alphabets, words, sentences, grammar, paragraphs and finally the essay. Same way you have to learn here the various components and then write a program. So, this is all about uh, the analogy here in this session. So, hope this session is useful to you all. If you find it useful, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye and take care.